here today to go over with you your next um, 7th, 8th grade art project. We will continue to explore pop art by Keith Haring and we are now going to be doing a Keith Haring inspired collage. So you're going to be going to another level with your Keith Haring artwork. Um, we talked about what is pop art. Pop art is a style of art based on simple, bold images of everything, everyday things painted in bright colors. This began in the late 50s and um, 1960s as a response to the consumerist culture. Everyday things like tomato cans, American flags, were elevated to the level of art. Some of the most famous artists from the pop art era were Roy Lichtenstein, who used the Ben Day dot to create some comic book-like compositions, Andy Warhol, who created his screen prints of repeated images, like you see here. He would often utilize images of celebrities like Marilyn Monroe and Michael Jackson, and Romero Brito, who liked to use bold colors and dark lines to create um, compositions that feature a lot of the elements of art. Keith Haring, he was considered a pop artist, a street artist, and a sculptor, as we have learned in our extensive research. His pop art was painted um, using very simplistic human figures and animals. He also often utilized his paintings to tell a story or to show something that was going on, something I'm always telling you to do with your page. He um, used few details, but instead used symbols. Symbols is a drawing or shape of an object that represents something else, much like the heart here. A simple heart line draw, um, symbolizes a very elaborate feature of a heart. This was something that began, it was part of the very early and beginning conception of art. You can see it in Egyptian hieroglyphs and in the Laku cave paintings. So, what do you think is happening in this painting? Does it tell a story? What symbols do you see? What is happening in this, this painting? How do the symbols tell you that? They're dancing! And here is an animated version of this picture. Keith Haring did not paint on canvases and hung work and hang work up. At, ugh, Keith Haring did not paint on canvases, and often his work was not hung in museums. He wanted everyone to be able to enjoy his art, so he made street art and painted on sides of buildings. He also painted on large, sheep, large sheets of paper. Keith liked using cheap materials. He did not want people to believe that they needed lots of money and nice supplies to be an artist. Today, we will also be using paper for your next project. You are going to be creating a Keith Haring inspired collage and kit bags with the supplies you need, will need are waiting in the office for you. So what is a collage? A collage is a form of artwork that is made by putting together different things like paper to create a new work of art. So you are going to need colored construction paper, glue or glue stick, a black sharpie, some cardstock, or poster board, a pencil, it's scissors, and, oh yep, I already said construction paper. These are all in your supply bag, but if you can't come to school, you can supply these um, project, these supplies on your own. They can easily be, be found in the local dollar store. So your project, here's the example. These figures are just simple shapes. So Keith Haring's figures, which is gonna be the basis, basis of your composition, are basically simple shapes. These, drawing these shapes can help you draw your simple figures. Circles, rectangles, etc. So let's make some sketches. You will be using a spinning wheel in class. You can skip this part. You've already done some sketching. You've already created some um, Keith Haring sketches. So now you're gonna draw symbols for your collage on construction paper with pencil. Keep the shape simple. Only do outlines, do not do any details on the inside. What story will you tell? Next, cut out your shapes and place them on a background sheet of construction paper. 
Carefully glue down your pieces. Remember, a little glue goes a long way. I have given you a glue stick, so it'll be a little less messy. Outline your shapes with black marker. This outline is very characteristic of Keith Haring's work. Draw the outside edge of the figure or the subject around your construction paper. Add patterns if you like. Heron often added dots or dashes. He also would add lines to show movement within his figures, like the bark coming out of the dog's mouth in the picture here. Add motion lines and any figure that is moving, like we just spoke about. And outline the edge of background with black marker and glue onto white cardstock poster board. So then you're going to take your construction paper, put it onto the poster board, and again, outline the edge. So some of the great things we learned about today were pop art, symbols, collage, and we talked a lot about outlining. So I'm going to require that your figures, that your composition has at least two figures in it and tells a story. You don't have to have any extras like in our last compositions. At least two figures and tells a story. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and you visit during our virtual office hours. I can't wait to see pictures of your collage compositions.